What do you say to one more of your tails? While we toss down some cards. Ah, oh, why not? I'm Callie reading for freelancer Alessandro Barbosa. With the Witcher trilogy, developer CD Projekt Red established that it's capable of making compelling role-playing games with tough decisions, hearty combat, and engrossing lore. In Thronebreaker The Witcher Tales, all but one of these aspects has persisted. This prequel serves up a captivating tale filled with gut-wrenching decisions that have far-reaching consequences. The only difference is that instead of fighting with a sword, you battle with cards. Thronebreaker is an intelligent spin on Gwent and manages to transform its simple premise into an enthralling tale of family, loyalty, and hardship. As her men prepared to march, Meave climbed the manor's tower. Smoke rose in columns in the distance. As more black pillars appeared one after the other, she knew they meant another home, another barn, another mill was in flames. Tears welled in her eyes, yet they were tears of anger. Bastards. If it's war they seek, it's war I shall bring them. Reynard, prepare to ride! You play as Queen Meave, ruler of Lyria and Rivia, on the eve of the Great Nilfgaardian invasion. These ruthless Imperials sweep across the land like a plague, decimating villages and its citizens whole and wrestling away control of kingdoms from their rulers. Meave and her company get caught in the middle, dealing with traitors around every corner and spies lurking in the shadows. You'll have to make difficult decisions about who to ally with in this unpredictable climate as you rally together a guerrilla army to snuff out the invasion. Thronebreaker's tale involves an entirely new, voiced cast of characters and surprising cameos throughout its 25-hour campaign. Its writing is exceptionally strong, bringing each character's motivations and principles to life. Thronebreaker also gives you room to roleplay with a familiar gray brush painting your choices with moral ambiguity. Leading a dwindling army into battles with impossible odds puts an incredible amount of responsibility on your shoulders, and choosing when to be empathetic and when to be ruthless has some fascinating repercussions. Your excuses I cannot accept, said the Queen. The vipers who called for the slaughter, they will hang. The rest... Majesty! A townswoman fell to Meave's feet. Mercy, please! Twere words taken wrong, a misunderstanding. A misunderstanding? To don another's cape, pay out insufficient change, these are misunderstandings. What happened here was criminal, and you'll be punished as criminals. You command Meave through multiple large open areas, each bearing a distinctive visual aesthetic and characters to interact with. Each area plays host to the many story battles you'll need to undertake to progress, but also numerous side missions and collectible content. Side quests can be as simple as making decisions to solve petty quarrels, or as involved as hunting down dragons in dark caverns at the request of terrified villagers, each with its own story to tell and rewards to reap. Thronebreaker's world feels incredibly reactive to your choices, compelling you to take care with how you handle them. You'll also need to gather resources to better establish your fighting force and construct new structures to help build your Gwent deck. Thronebreaker doesn't make you feel the need to scour each corner of the map for resources and usually gives you enough on its critical path. But seeing your small army grow with each passing area is rewarding, as are the effects it has on your abilities to fight with your chosen cards. It hurts up. Gwent in Thronebreaker is now a vastly different game, but maintains its core tenets. Each card has a power attribute which is added to a total score, and a round is decided by the player with the highest score once both players have passed. You'll have to carefully weigh when to go all in on a round or fold, maintaining the strategic element that Gwent always had. But it feels much faster in Thronebreaker, with even more complex combinations to grasp. Units have different abilities that can be triggered in a variety of ways, many of which can be chained up to create devastating combos. Each will prove useful when taking on Thronebreaker's shifting rule sets, which help the frequent matches from wearing thin. The way Thronebreaker contextualizes its battles within each Gwent game is clever, always fitting the purpose of the story in some way, which helps avoid the potentially deflating transition between its story and a simple game of cards. The castle is secure, your grace. Even with these unique rules, Thronebreaker's main battles can sometimes feel too easy for their own good. This is thankfully offset by great optional puzzle encounters, giving you a specific deck to work with in uniquely tailored challenges. These encounters are the best learning tools Thronebreaker has to offer, exposing you to incredibly complex card combinations as a requirement to win. Often, these challenges lead to card unlocks for Gwent's online component, so you're encouraged to take them up as often as they present themselves. Abolista, your command. Don't be tricked into thinking Thronebreaker is simply a lengthy Gwent tutorial. 
Its tale is mandatory if you're looking for more Witcher lore to chew on, accented with well-written characters and a suitably dark plot that challenges your morals. It also interweaves Gwent into its story in smart ways that keep it from feeling like an intrusive method for resolving combat situations, while also helping you learn its new intricate systems. Gwent was a side attraction in The Witcher 3, but through Thronebreaker, it's blossomed into something new that stands on its own as a proud member of The Witcher family.